Hi there, Dr. Andrea Schnowski. And Tori. From Health and Horsepower. And this week we are coming back with some recipes. So last week we talked a little bit more about Absolute Greens. This is a fruit and vegetable replacement that also has some probiotics in it. Um, if you have any issues with bloating or if you have any issues with energy and you're not getting your fruits and vegetables in, this is a great replacement. One scoop of this provides basically 10 servings of fruits and vegetables and a probiotic to help with digestion. So we're going to make some recipes today. Because it is March, the first thing we're going to do is make a shamrock shake, but the healthy version. We're also going to be making a thin mint cookie flavored shape and also just a regular fruit smoothie. Um, a lot of these ingredients that we're going to be using, you can use frozen versions. Um, you can alternate or swap something else in there too, but we're going to use these and we will share them below. So tune in. We're going to start with our first shake, which is our shamrock shake. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to put some vanilla flavored Greek yogurt in. So this has not only a vanilla flavoring, um, but it also is going to be a little bit better for protein content. We're going to add in the absolute greens. We're going to add in honey. We're also going to put some avocado, some spinach, and some banana in there. And then we're going to add, uh, we're just using regular milk, but you can use any type of milk replacement. Okay, go ahead and put some yogurt in. So we're going to need, I would say probably about a third of the way with the yogurt. Um, avocados actually are really great if you use the frozen if you can if you're dairy free you can use avocados instead and that would kind of take the place of this but you would probably need to add some vanilla flavoring avocados kind of smooth out um, and almost give you like an ice cream texture all right one more scoop and that should be about good perfect we're gonna move that over now we're gonna take oop, I got some of my fingers too we're gonna put one scoop of the absolute greens it comes with this pre-portioned little scoop here. So one scoop of the powder, which is green in color and mint flavored. That's going to give us our fruits and veggies and a mint flavor for our shake. We're also going to put some honey in. Now this has stevia. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The Absolute Greens has stevia already added into it. So we're going to put probably about a tablespoon or eh, maybe two teaspoons, so not quite a tablespoon, in there. We're going to go ahead and put some avocado chunks. So Tori, why don't you take... Like maybe three big pieces, right? Yep, go ahead and put those in there. One, two, I would say maybe one more big piece. Perfect. And then we're going to take one big banana chunk. We're going to be taste testing these later too. And I would say probably a handful of spinach. So whatever, whatever you can stuff in there. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add milk in here. And then after we're done making all three of these, we're going to have a taste test with the whole family to tell you a little bit more about these and what we thought of them, which one was our favorite. So we'll come back after we blend this up with our number two, which is our Thin Mint Cookie. All right, we're back with smoothie number two. This is our Thin Mint Cookie smoothie. So for this one, we are going to be using cocoa powder for some chocolate flavor and Nutella for some chocolate flavor. We're also going to put some banana some absolute greens and milk in. So this one's pretty simple to put together. We're gonna do that last because that's the part that'll stick to the side. So we want that on top. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna also add a little bit of vanilla Greek yogurt. So one big scoop, that's all we need for that one. That's it. No, no, <laughs> just wait, okay? All right, throw two, actually three chunks of banana. One, two, three chunks of banana. So that's probably about a full banana. We're going to do half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, there you go. Perfect. And then we're going to do one spoonful of Nutella. So the chocolate stuff. Can you put the spoonful in there? All right, so this part, yeah, this is the sticky part. Let me see it. Let go. All right. Hold on, Tori. Wait a minute, we got to put our absolute greens in because this is what's going to give us our mint flavor. And again, this is sweetened with stevia. So we got one scoop of that. This one's pretty, um, I'll pour that because that's really heavy. This one's pretty non-obtrusive. There's not much going in here. You can also add some ice or freeze your bananas so that it's a little bit more smoothie-like. I actually hear it fizzing a little bit. Oh, you hear it fizzing a little bit? Yep. So we're going to go ahead and blend this up and then we'll be back with our fruit smoothie after that. All right, we are back with our last smoothie. This is our fruit smoothie. Now, we have all sorts of goodies that we're gonna add in here. I will say, some people are not a big fan of the mint flavor, so one way that you can actually counteract that, and I don't know how it works, but if you add lemon juice in, or lemon juice from a bottle, 
in with the absolute greens. It changes the flavor, so it's not quite mint flavored. So for this recipe, we're gonna be using spinach again. We will have some lemon juice. We will also have some pineapple, some avocado, strawberries, bananas, and of course our greens along with our milk. So Tori's gonna start, we're gonna put those in last because those part need to be blended up. So don't put those in first. Always last for any leafy stuff always wants to go on the top so it's closer to the blended part. So go ahead and start with your bananas. So I would put three chunks in. No, three chunks. One, two, three chunks of that. And then I would put like maybe six pieces of strawberry. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, okay, perfect. That's enough. And then we will need some avocado. So I would put mm, maybe three chunks of avocado, three big chunks. Okay. One. There we go. That should be about good. So about the same of the avocado. We're going to throw in, I'm going to break up this pineapple a little bit. Throw the pineapple in there. And then we're going to squeeze. Watch your eyes, please. Stand back. We're going to go ahead and squish lemon juice. So we're going to use basically one lemon worth. Oops. See, I told you. I almost got you. Did it get your eye? No, it didn't get inside my eye. Got your face a little bit? Yeah. Lemon squish. All right. And then... We are going to put a little bit of hey, our I spinach like on top. Put like two more little leafies there. That's a big one. All right. And then let's go ahead and we're going to add our milk and then we'll blend it up. You need your absolute greens. Oh, yep. Yeah, hold on. Wait. We need the absolute greens. We almost forgot that part. Okay. Hold on. No, no. no wait. You're going to knock that over. Hold on. All right, go ahead and put the lid on that, and then we'll blend this up, and then we'll come back with our taste test from the whole family. Mwah. All right, we're starting with our shamrock shake. So, Tori, go ahead and take a taste. It definitely is really good. I like, I think the Greek yogurt and the avocado make that one pretty good. Go ahead and try it, Cammie. What do you think? It's very sweet. It's very good. Hey! Yeah, this one... Definitely, it's not like super watery. It's got a little bit of thickness to it. I think with the Greek yogurt and avocado, it makes it a little bit more creamy. I can taste the uh, spinach and the absolute greens. That's really good. Spinach you can't really taste, but yeah, there's definitely a mint flavor, but it's very, very mild. I would say this is probably a winner in my book. I haven't tried all of them yet, Mom. And then we'll have Dad jump in afterwards since he's recording right now, so he'll jump in and give us his take on these. Okay, next one. This is our Thin Mint Cookie. I'm going to put Dad's straw in there so he can try it later. <laughs> it looks like mud. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. So this one is the chocolatey flavored one. Again, just a hint of mint. It's supposed to be Thin Mint Cookie. So I did add another half tablespoon of the cocoa powder. So it's got one full tablespoon of cocoa powder along with this spoonful of Nutella and then the banana and everything else. So this one... I would say as a winner, if you're a fan of Girl Scout cookies, I think this is a winner. And Tori is really excited because she loves chocolate, but we kind of know that about Tori already. I right. love it. I don't really like it, but if you like... Uh, Do you like the first mint, one? If you like, like chocolate it. and mint mixed together, it'd be good. I just didn't like it. Um, why is there two green ones? Because this one is our fruit smoothie. So remember we had spinach and avocado. I'm excited for this All one. All right, so this one has the lemon and the pineapple and everything else in it. That's really good. Which means kind of sour. Can you taste any mint in it? I can't taste any mint at all in this I one. I taste the lemon. So, yeah, I taste the lemon and the strawberry, but I do not taste any mint. It's really good. That's my favorite. Was sour because we put the lemon. Yeah, it's by the lemon. So Cameron, I know you're a big lemon fan, so this is your favorite. Tori, you like the chocolate best? Yeah, that was your favorite. Honestly, I think I liked all of them. I don't think there was one I didn't like. This one's mine. All right, so Cameron, big fan of the lemon, a little bit more sour, but no mint flavor. She's a fan of number three. Tori loved the thin mint, which was like the chocolate with a little bit of hint of mint. And then honestly, I think I liked all of them. But the shamrock shake, definitely a great replacement. If you haven't looked into what's in McDonald's shamrock shake, it's a little scary on the ingredients list. So great healthy option for you. And like I said, you get your full serving of fruits and vegetables for the day simply by adding one scoop of that greens in there. So we'll come back with a Q&A from dad on his face. All right, here we're Q&A from dad. We've got the first one there, that's our fruit one. So that's the one that's not supposed to have much of a mint flavor. 
it's not bad. And then the second one is our Thin Mint Cookie, so chocolate. That's the one Tori doesn't want to let go of. <laughs> hey, give me that! Hey, that is really good. I see why you like that one. And then the last one is our Shamrock Shake, so that's our McDonald's healthy version. That one's really good. That's my favorite for sure. All right, Shamrock Shake it is. So we got two votes for Shamrock Shake, one vote for the Thin Mint, and one vote for the Fruit Smoothie. This one would be great for anybody that loves chocolate. Yeah, it was really good. I know Cameron said another thing too is if you have trouble with a Nutella, you can melt it first before you throw it in there. Well, thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy your smoothie recipes. I think ours are claimed already for the day. I think so. All right. This one's mine. All right, bye. bye. bye.